Hello, my name is Becky Crockett and I've been asked to share a little bit about my background with you all. I've been married to Dave Crockett 52 years and we've been blessed with three wonderful children, two sons and a daughter, and two absolutely wonderful grandchildren who are the lights of our lives. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia and lived there for about three years, but my father was transferred with his job and when I was in the eighth grade, he came in one night and said, I've been transferred to Dothan, Alabama. And I met my future husband as an eighth grader. We dated during high school, and then upon graduation from Dothan High School, we both set out to major in education. We got married as sophomores, and when we graduated on Monday from Troy, we next day packed up and moved to Perry. That fall, Dave and I were supposed to be um, teaching at Perry Elementary. Well, on the Friday before school was to begin, I got a letter stating that I was supposed to report to New Hope Elementary. I learned so much that year. I still keep in contact with those kids. And I think really if you spoke to any one of them, they'd probably say they'd do absolutely anything for me. Following that year at New Hope, our son was born, and I really planned to be a stay-at-home mom. But Dave and I soon realized that uh, if we were going to do anything except exist, that $5,200 a year salary was not going to cut it. The only thing that was available in all of Houston County was a seventh grade position, but I found my niche. I loved them, and I stayed with them for the next 29 years. I have so many impressive memories that come to mind. We had done a unit in eighth grade entitled The Voices of War. We talked about all the horrible things that had happened, particularly about the Holocaust. And students in my class decided that they wanted to make a two-sided rolling wall to represent all the things that they had learned. And it was impressive. So impressive that the Georgia Holocaust Commission came and took that wall from Perry Middle School and it toured all over the state and is now in a museum in Savannah. Teaching was good for me. It was good to me. I don't think I could have ever done anything else that I would have been happier in. I'm thankful for to God that I could go each day and be excited about what was going to happen in my classroom. 